Hi friends! Today we're reading Curious George and the Pizza by Margaret and A.J. Ray. Let's go out for pizza tonight, George, said his friend. At the pizza place, Tony the baker was getting the pizzas ready for baking. He flattened out a ball of dough into a large pancake and tossed it in the air. He spread tomato sauce on it and sprinkled it with cheese and shoved it in the oven. Then the telephone rang. A fellow from the factory wants a large pizza delivered in a hurry, Tony's wife called. Okay, I'll get my coat, said Tony. George was curious. Could he make a pizza too? He jumped up on the counter and took some dough. George pounded the dough into pancakes. Then he tossed them into the air with all four hands. One of them plopped right in the middle of a table where a woman was sitting. Another landed on a coat rack. One fell on the jukebox. And one landed smack on Tony's head. Who did that, he shouted. George was scared. He ran out and jumped into a small truck to hide. That customer is still waiting for his pizza, said Tony's wife. You'd better hurry, hurry, they'll be closing the factory in a few minutes. I forgot all about it, Tony said. Quickly, he packed the pizza in the back of the truck and drove off. George was trapped inside. The truck sped up to the factory, but it was too late. The gates were locked. Oh no, Tony groaned. How will I ever deliver the pizza? He opened the back door of the truck and there was George. So that's where you've been hiding, you bad little monkey, Tony cried. He reached out to grab George, but then he stopped. I've got an idea, he said. You're just the one I need. How good that George was a monkey. Look at that, shouted the factory guard. A monkey delivering a pizza? Thanks, George, said Tony. You made up for all the trouble you caused. I'm going to make you a special pizza for you and your friend when we get back. And that's what he did. The end.